When we are studying geometry, frequently we have to measure angles. And for this we use a protractor. One thing that can make a protractor a little bit confusing to use is that it has two sets of numbers on the outer edge. Uh, over here on the outside, we have a set of numbers that counts from 0 to 180. And on the inside, we have the numbers from 180 to 0. But there are, is a reason why there are two sets of numbers on a protractor. And that reason has to do with whether we are measuring an angle that opens to the left or one that opens to the right. Let's try measuring these angles and see how this works. The first thing we must do is take what I call the zero point of the protractor, which is right here, and place it on the vertex of the angle we are measuring. We also have to make the baseline at the bottom of the protractor go across one of the lines that makes up the angle. That's now done. Because we are measuring an angle that opens to the right, we have to use the inner set of numbers because we always measure angles by counting up from zero. The inner set of numbers starts at zero, and if I count up, I can see that this angle is about 39 degrees. Let's measure this angle. Putting the zero dot of the protractor on vertex B, and then making sure that the baseline goes across the bottom line that makes up my angle, I find myself counting up from zero using the outer numbers this time. And I can measure my angle as being about 44 degrees. Angle ABC is 44 degrees. Once you know that there are two sets of numbers, and you know the two different situations when you use them, protractors are no longer confusing, and measuring angles becomes very, very simple.